In Scotland, when baked, it's called a scone. In Canada, our First Nations people traditionally fry it up as bannock. Either way, at a tiny cafe in West Bank, BC, it's called delicious. Going to the Kukuli Cafe? Don't panic. They got bannock. You gotta eat here. Kukuli Cafe is the best place in town. There's no food like this anywhere. Very bannock pudding. I have to eat here because I would never survive without it. How would you describe bannock to someone who's never had it? It's just like bread, only way better. And you can use it for everything and anything. Tell me what's going on here. I am having a taco. It does not look like a taco sandwich. Well, whatever it is, it's uh... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what did you order? A uh, buffalo bannock burger. Buffalo bannock burger. Perfect. And what's the first step then? Well, we're going to make our fry bread. Ancient native secret. <laughs> It's flour. <laughs> Came out of a bag, I think, at some point. Here we have some yeast. Now okay. I need you to make a little well. Good. Is that well enough? <laughs> so All of it you're going to add your water. Yeah. Now you are going to start mixing it in. Okay, so we're just going to let this sit now for about 15, yeah. 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let it rise. Dust it again with some flour. Then we're going to cut it and pat it out. So very simple. Yep. We're going to let this rest. And then we're going to go make our buffalo patties. Perfect. This is our fresh ground buffalo, ground pepper, okay. egg spice, yeah. dried mustard, onion and garlic powder, some brown sugar, a little Worcestershire, and then we're going to crack two eggs. Then we're going to throw some ketchup in there. Sounds good to be very. But what could you compare them to? A blueberry. So make it into a nice ball. And are we going to start making the bannock now? So now we're going to put the bannock into the oil. Okay. And how long does the bannock cook for? Oh, we cook for about one minute. So we're going to cut the bannock in half. All right. And then you're going to put your patty on top of there. Buffalo bannock burger. I love this burger because of the bannock. There's a little spice to it. It's very good. It's a little bit sweet, but it's really lean meat. Yeah. So it makes a great burger. Mmm. Mmm. That is tasty. That bannock is just beautiful. Crispy, soft on the inside, and that buffalo burger is really very lean. It's, it's so, like, bright. It's, like, fresh. It's got this sweetness to it. Can you go back to a regular burger now? It's not the same. No. Well, the food community, it gives you something else to talk about and something else to try. Salmon bannock fries. What do you got going on here? BLT. Crunchy. It's delicious. It's a Saskatoon berry bannock bun. How are you going to go about this? Put I'm a, a lady. I'll use my fingers. Ooh. What's going on here? What do you have? I'm having buffalo stew. Buffalo stew. Well, we're going to start off with chopping our veggies. Yeah. Carrots, onions, celery. Potatoes. A little bit of olive oil. I like to throw in some butter. Mm -hmm. Buffalo meat. Okay. Onions and then the celery. This is a beef broth. Fresh ground pepper, garlic powder, onion salt. That's the steak spice again, right? So then we're going to add all our vegetables. Our sweet potatoes here? Peas and corn. But yeah, put a lid on it and let it simmer for okay. about an hour or so. Well, we had some leftover dough from the fry bread that we made earlier, so I put it into a loaf pan, and we're going to have a traditional oven-baked bannock loaf. It's going to bake for about 20 to 30 minutes, so we can let it cool off a bit. And how's the stew doing? Great. We're just going to thicken it up here. Okay. Cornstarch and water. Can we eat this now? We sure can. Okay. Holy shit. It's hot. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo stew and baked bannock. Buffalo is delicious. Yeah. If I were at home, I'd probably lick out the bowl. It's very tender, and you just enjoy all of it together. So when you bite into it, all the juices go, and it's flowing, and it's just perfect. Mmm. That's a perfect stew. Tons of veggies. The buffalo just works perfectly. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, the different texture, like from the fried to the baked. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. It's dense, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be smiling all day after this. The food's always good. The staff is friendly. I got a bannock breakfast sandwich. It has a perfect time to do it. It's heavenly. I have a barbecue Saskatoon chicken burger. It's sweet, yeah. but not like overly sweet. What did you order? This is a berry bannock pudding. Well, we're going to make a berry bannock pudding. This is a Dale bannock. Dale. So we're going to add the milk, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and one egg. And we are going to whisk it. OK. Pour it onto the bannock. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to let this soak for about 30 minutes. And now we're going to incorporate the egg whites. Which were pre-whipped. Now we're going to take the fresh berries. Okay. This is a mixture of huckleberries, raspberries, blackberries. So we're going to add some of the fresh fruit into it. Put some into the ramekins. You want to take some of the bannock yes. mixture and you want to 
fluff it on top. What's next? Then you're going to sprinkle some turbinado or sugar on top. We're going to put them in the oven. Okay. For about 25 minutes. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Put the berry bannock pudding right into the bowl. Oh, nice. Serve it with some ice cream, chocolate sauce, and some berries on top. This is so good. It's a perfect mesh of the hot and the cold. And then you've got all the different kind of berries in there. Kind of sweet, but not overpowering. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Oh, 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 wow. It gets all crispy, it gets got a nice crust on the top, mm -hmm. and it mixes in with that cold ice cream and the fresh berries. I'm John Caducci, and you gotta eat here. Ice cream headache. Yeah. Ooh. The only way it will help with more. <laughs> no, it didn't help at all. Ooh.